Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us, though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do, no matter what's going on. I don't know why I pointed down for that. <laughs> no matter what's going on. Yeah. Well, no, I'll tell you <laughs> what's like going on. We're throwing down some food on we the Pit are. Boss Sierra. And we're back in the Backyard Diner. Super excited and happy to be here. And Brett, this is a bodega favorite. And yes. this has been requested several times by Matthew Arbyshevsky, our good brother from New York City, yes. who said, guys, you gotta throw down. It's a breakfast favorite for those in New York. Yep. Um, other places, not as well known, but it's gonna be well known yeah, in to fact, us now. Matthew says that this is more iconic than the New York chopped cheese. Ooh, so, doggy. yes. So, our people from New York, you gotta comment below and let us know, is Matthew right? Okay, so get to the groceries, though. We do have a few changes, because unfortunately here in Florida, we can't get all the favorites that they have there in New York. So we're hoping to do the best that we can break into the groceries. So here we go, we got salt, pepper, and eggs. And then that you see these buns. These are everything buns. It calls for poppy seed buns or a seeded bun. This is all we could get. Matt gave us his blessing, said these would actually be killer because we couldn't find poppy seeds given the sign of the times. Well, you've got Wright's brand bacon. We've got cheese and ketchup. Hence, the bacon, egg, and cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup. I asked him, could you call it the Beck spec? And he said, heavens no. <laughs> <laughs> Blasphemy! <laughs> it is blasphemous. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and uh, get to the cook. Let's switch the angle. Oh. Let's get to the baking. Let's oh, glove up. No, hold up. Let's, Let's glove up. up. When we were up at Brett's place filming, we had mentioned a couple times we ran out of gloves while we were up there. We didn't want to run up to grab some from the store because the prices on gloves just seemed to be creeping up. We were super excited. As it turns out, somebody that we follow on TikTok Golden Protective Services reached out to us through Instagram and said, hey guys, we love that you guys use the nitro gloves. We'd love to send you some. Here we are, super excited for this. We're gonna open this, use these, and we'll put all their information down below. We've been following them, and it, it, this is one of those like meant to be type situations because I thought about reaching out and they happened to reach out to us. Let's it was, get to it. It was meant to be. Ah. All right, so I did get the black large on and Brett did find the green. The green, pencil. it was like Christmas morning. Super excited. I did like the green and they are textured to kind of help oh, grip it in. Grip it do, grip it do, yep. All right, you so know what I mean. While Brett is gloving up, like, it, like we said again, their information will be posted below this video. Check it out, we will be placing an order ourselves. And by the way, this is not a paid endorsement, they just sent the gloves to us to try for free. We do really like cooking with the gloves. If you watch our content, you know this. So Brett, let's go ahead and change the angles up though. Let's go ahead and get this going. Yep. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna say all, all the things, things inside, inside my, my head. head and the same joke that I do every time. Now, we typically, we, I think we say this a lot, we like the griddle on low or off uh, to cook our, uh, to start our bacon. It tends to curl a little less, but you know what, this is actually okay. So right now, only the middle burner is on. We had all three on and it was cranking 460 degrees. We do point out all the time that these cook really hot and we know that they cook really hot. Brett, I uh, inadvertently, advertently made a lot of extra snack and bacon. Snack and bacon is the right bacon by the right brand company. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and let that go. I'll get those burners back on. Again, they are on, the middle is on low, and uh, that's where we're gonna start. So uh, I do have all three burners now on low. So I'm uh, just kind of cleaning off those knobs there. I like to make the griddle look nice and pretty. But there we go, so all three are set to low. We'll let this go about five minutes or so. Brett's a one and done flipper. I'm a constant flipper, so uh, we'll, uh, let it go and flip it and then pull right. the bacon. So like we said, if you can see the middle are done because that's where uh, we had turned off the outside burner. So right now I'm gonna bring this up to medium, about medium heat and same with the outside because at this point the bacon has started to cook. We're gonna finish this cook and then we'll move on to the next phase. All right, phase one is done and in Bacon the books. <laughs> done. So now what we got going on is uh, we're about to toss the eggs on. So I turned off all the burners while we kind of cleaned off the griddle top real quick. And we've just got the far right burner on where we're gonna be cooking the eggs. We're gonna do them, start, it's not sunny side up. It's uh, it's gonna be over easy. Yep. We'll start the one side, we'll flip it. We'll we salt the them. yolk runny. Let's see if we can make yes. that happen. We'll, we'll salt it, we'll, we'll flip it, and then we'll cheese them up as well. So let's go ahead and get this process. It's gonna be really quick. Brett will start it and we're gonna tag team this one. All right, so real quick, we had just enough ketchup like we said for this, so all we're gonna do, I've got my bottom buns, and we get our uh, we get our ketchup swirls going. Like I said, we're low on the ketchup up. My other bottom. All 
One of the best parts, we say this all the time about these griddles, is cooking eggs. It's so slick. Oh man. Okay, so we're gonna salt. Just a little bit of salt on those. And Pet Brett, grab the cheese. It's in the fridge. Oh yes, that's right. We're gonna because we're gonna cheese this up now and let that cheese melt. But there's your pepper, your salt, and we're going one and slice here's per the deal. Yeah, yeah. Go one cheese per. All right. And we're gonna hurry and melt this on there. I've got three bread. I just need one more. We're cracking that one. That's okay. Yep. You want to steam it up? I don't have water. Oh. All right. So those are melty. <laughs> oh up. yeah. Maybe do on a little steam. Just what do you a little think? bit. Yeah. Just go a little steam. But we don't want the egg yolk to completely cook through. Just a little bit of steam. And there we go. And then we're gonna pull them and build. So I actually got a little bit of ketchup on there. And we didn't quite get the swirls because we were handing the ketchup, but it is what it is. This is what happens. Yeah, Adam, it's not going to affect the flavor of the no, ketchup. It I won't. promise you that. <laughs> or the sandwich. All right, Brett, we're eggs, going two eggs bake. per. Yep. Let's go egg, egg. Oh, that one's already busted open. Yeah. So here's what I need, Brett. Actually, grab the other plate. I grabbed two plates so we could do these separate. There's yours. Well, not necessarily yours, but I guess so maybe it will this. be yours now. There you go. And let's go ahead and turn that off. And then let's just go real quick over to the other table for some quick B-roll of putting the bacon on. Brett is anticipating a messy eat, and I think so too because we've got some napkins. Oh, that is the goal to have the yolk break, break while open you eat here. that. Yes. But Brett, you know, we could talk about it. No. But I think, you know, but Let's I, did, I did miss my line. There it is in all its glory. In all its glory. Adam, here's a new line for us. Let's eat about it. Let's eat about it. Matthew, thank you for suggesting this one time and time again. Already with the finger flick. To our people in New York, Matthew especially, we hope we do this one justice. This is simply our take with what we could gather here in Florida yes, on with a the, New uh, York classic. The poolside bodega, if you will. There you go. But Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. <laughs> this looks amazing. It, Absolutely that, amazing. There's no doubt about that. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh, can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for naught. I left my gloves on for this one. <laughs> Cheers, I'll eat to that, my, my brother. Mmm. Oh, yum. Quintessentially, mm. absolutely, mm -hmm. exactly what I hoped it would taste like. The yolk busted. I got so a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. I, some of it's cooked all the way through, which I'm okay with. So the That's why I was not there. in a hurry to pull that up. Mmm. Mmm. That, you know, spot on. If I'm waking Perfect. up in a New York, New York morning, I'm not eating breakfast. Oh, I'm waking up thinking about that right there. I can imagine like a Kaiser roll or, you know, something bigger that's going to hold all that. These came through in a pinch and Perfect. it's really Perfect. good. Yep. What were you saying? That was good. That was, oh man, amazing. Just amazing. Yeah, the bun had great integrity for the ketchup mm. and the yolk. Mm. Gloves off, hats off on that one. Yes. Golden Protective Services, love yes. the gloves. Yes, shout out to you. Thank you so much. Uh, we have a new glove that we're going to be right. using. So we sure. have the black diesel, the black max diesel, and the green diesel, yep. all we'll, incredible. And we'll have a link to them down below as well so you can check out their gloves. And one of the main reasons we like people say like, well, you guys are just cooking for yourself. You don't have to worry about the food safety. The biggest part, like Adam just took this bite, they keep our hands clean. <laughs> we do say that aside from food safety, it just reminds us what, what we should and shouldn't be touching. But it just is a matter of, uh, yeah, it just keeps our hands clean and we love it. It just, even when I'm just cooking for, for my family, dude, I'm, I'm wearing the gloves now. Yes, so. exactly. We love it, but we do appreciate it. So again, all that information will be down below. Thank you so much, uh, Golden Protective Services. This was amazing. Thank you, Matthew Arbyshevsky. Matthew is actually one of our Patreons. Thank you so much to our Patreons and to you, Matthew. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for the love and support yep. you give Our us. Our patrons, by the way, we dubbed our Griddle Entourage. Griddle so entourage. shout out to you guys. We love you guys so much. If you want to learn more about how to become a member of the Griddle Entourage, that information is down below as well. If you did like this, by the way, oh yeah, goodness. our New York people, but also everybody else, if you just enjoyed the process, make sure and give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way that you can support the channel and what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise store. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Happy that we came and did this one. Me too. Uh, such a banger. Love the gloves. Love the food. Love Matthew Arbachevsky. Matt, you and Lisa, we love you guys. And we can't wait to hang out and cook with you soon. Right. 
No kidding. Brett, aside from coming to make this banger, the bacon, egg, and cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup? Yeah. Hope bacon, I got egg, cheese, right. salt, pepper, ketchup. There we go. Brett nailed it. Aside from coming to make that, yeah. why else are we doing all this? Because all we do is twin. No, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And grin along.